ตัวยางหนาตัวเนื้อหนาตัวมือเนื้อชั้นหนาอายุเยอะอายุเยอะ Now to be a woman we just we need the two things we have to care for our children we have to care for our parents uh, aging parents uh, we have to care for grandchildren like me not to yet um, we have to be a supportive wife we also have to be a beautiful housewife if you are you know if you have a family um, and and furthermore I like to maintain relationship with extended family. Um, That takes a lot of my time as well, <laughs> and I manage it. You have to manage a career. And for me, I, I manage my my uh, you know charity. I manage my limited uh, investments. Uh, you know whatever. And then just now we talked about self maintenance, self temporary. How you have to love yourself. How do you anti you know the anti aging grooming, uh, good for good physical exercise, all this. So you want to you want to you know do your best at at every role. So it's not easy because you only have 24 hours a day. So how do you manage that? How do you time manage that? So it's not an easy job. And then to be a famous woman, it's like living like not just a woman, but famous people. They live in you know glass fish bowl. Everybody can look at your life. You know there are too many outside going outside. You know. <laughs> yeah. So um. So that's why I have to be very mindful of my behavior. Especially my social behavior, my social graces, I have to learn to be, and of course this also humbles me, and I have to learn, learn to be humble as well. And all of us here are privileged, so we have the more the more reason we should be more humble. Yeah, and so um, and then to be a famous woman, I can also use the status as you know a former Miss Hong Kong and the the high profile it brings, and to do charity work and give back to the community. So so. I'm taking, I'm you know making, uh, capitalizing on this being famous, you know, uh, and um, and of course I should be a good example, a good role model for other women or other young girls. Um, I hope uh, the good job, the good work of charity, I hope also inspires them to do and to give back to the community. So I want to be a good role model there. Yeah. My opinion on that is that. It is really unfortunate to be labeled. There are more than that label. You can see here there are more labels, and I think the media loves to stereotype. That makes a sensation, and they promote this bad culture, and they fuse it all the time. And so you know it's viral. It's on 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 online and all the paper, print papers as well. So all this, a lot of this, originated from Hong Kong and China, mainly China. These terms and. Very soon, it's going to be in the dictionary to <laughs> these words. Yeah. Um, so it's very sad. It's very sad that this culture, bad culture, is being promoted uh, socially. Um, and you know, um, I know that from the statistic, government statistics, that in, in Hong Kong, this is Hong Kong statistic, the women outnumber men almost three to two. So there are more women than men in Hong Kong at marriageable age. Um, so you know, there's competition for us. <laughs> For you, for you, yeah, young girls, yeah. There is competition, so we really got to appreciate. Um, and I want to. I think my kids, my my sons, are embarrassed because I I did I said I was going to betray them. Um, you know, some years ago they were both dating Beijing girls. And I said, you know, you guys are brought up in in uh, in. Uh, I think they want me to forget the past, but I can't. Do that. <laughs> yeah. They they studied abroad, Western you know Western uh, culture. They come back to Hong Kong, Hong Kong culture, but they've never been really exposed to mainland culture. And I'm sure there is a difference in culture. I said, so I asked them, well, why don't you date Hong Kong girls? Hong Kong girls, you know, what happens, you know? And and at that time, uh, one of them didn't speak much Mandarin as well. That was a little surprised, you know. <laughs> so. And uh, they told me, hmm, Hong Kong girls are hard to please. So I'm oh, okay, you know. So I don't know whether they are good examples or not, or, or maybe they are the difficult ones. You know, maybe they don't know how to please. Maybe I should have taught them to please girls better. Maybe it's my problem. <laughs> yeah. So so that's all of their reaction, and it, it struck me. So but I think I think uh, Hong Kong women today. Uh, there's a quote here that says, "Don't blame people for disappointing you. Blame yourself for expecting too much from them." And uh, so I, I would say that you know, please have realistic expectations. 
not just of life, but of men as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, and in Hong Kong, you know, lifestyle is privileged, so we as women cannot have to kung or anything like that. You know, kung right? So you've got to learn to appreciate, and we have to not be quiet. 